Okay, we are going to install Stable Diffusion 2.0. It's going to be easy. It's going to take like three minutes of clicking around and then like an hour and a half of downloading things. And then we're going to be in there. It's going to be good. Okay, first step, we're going to go to this guide. Follow this video, but just keep that guide open in the background. If you get lost, it will help you. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at this checklist. We have to tick every box in that checklist. And when we've ticked them all, we're done. First thing we have got to work out is do we have the right kind of computer? If we don't have the right setup, this is not going to work and we shouldn't even try. So few checks to do. Do we have a Windows? Yes, we have a Windows. Look, it's right there. Now we have to know if we have a recent NVIDIA GPU with at least five gigabytes of memory because Stable Diffusion 2.0 takes more memory than usual. So that's important. Got to have at least five gigabytes of VRAM. If you don't know what that means, there's another video linked right there where I go over exactly how to perform this check properly, but I have that. So we're good. First step done, finished. Okay, now we have to update the automatic 1111 web UI. Now, the way that I like to do this is through Git. But if you're not using Git, then you're going to have an interesting time. So we'll do the Git version first, and then we'll sort out the non-Git version. So I'm going to open up GitHub Desktop, okay? And then we're going to press this Fetch Origin button. I just did this. But if you haven't just done this, when you press the Fetch, fetch Origin button, it's going to give you a different option. It's going to say Pull Origin, and it's going to have some number, like 900 different changes have occurred since you last tried this. Okay, and you're gonna click that push origin, pull origin, and it's gonna start pulling down all of the stuff. It won't take very long at all, because all it's pulling down is code. It's not pulling down models or anything like that. We're gonna to have to do the models bit manually. Now we're up to date, and we know we're up to date because when we click the fetch origin button, it says hang on, and then it says just fetch now, and it doesn't give us the option to pull anything. So we are good. If you have any changes on your local branch, then that's, that's gonna be fun for you. You're gonna to have to stash those changes and then bring them out again but that's, that's for you to worry about, okay? <laughs> We're assuming that you don't have any weird changes or nonsense happening over here. Okay, I'm gonna close this and I can put a tick here because I'm done. Now, if you're not using Git and you're just using downloading zip files, then you're gonna have to go to the automatic web, web, web UI. The link to this will be in the description, so don't panic, chill. You just click on this code and then you click download zip and that gives you an archive. And when you extract that archive, you get exactly the same files as I am going to be looking at. Once you've extracted everything, you'll have this folder. It'll be called Web UI or Stable Diffusion Web UI or something like that. And you'll have all these files here. You'll be able to recognize a lot of these files, right? And so you'll, you'll be in the same position as us. The only difference is, and this is why you should not use the zip. This is why you should use GitHub Desktop instead. Because if you use the zip method, then every time there's a new update, you have to download the repository again and then painstakingly move the models over. And if you make any mistakes, then right, bad time for everyone. But if you use the GitHub version, every time there's a change occurring on this, uh, in this repository, you can just pull down the changes automatically, easy peasy, and all your models stay where they are. So you don't have to move anything around manually. Okay, bim, bam, boom, bim, bam, boom. Now we need to download the model and the config for the model. So here we are back in the guide and we've got these nice links. One is to download the model, Let's go ahead and open that in a new tab. And it passes us to this model file. Great, 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 great. And we just hit this download button. Nice, started downloading. Now we need the config for that model. I'm gonna right click this, I'm gonna say save link as, and we're gonna call it the same thing. We're gonna call it 768. This is very important that you name it this, 768 vema.yaml. There we go, done. And uh, that should download, it'll be really quick. Okay, what's the deal with this config file? Usually we don't need a config file, what's going on here? Well, basically, um, Stable Diffusion 2.0 works a bit differently to Stable Diffusion 1.0. It's not just a retraining of the same model, it's actually, uh, they've changed the architecture a little bit. They've used like a different text encoder, for instance. And because of this, we have to tell the web UI about all those differences so that it can load the model in the correct fashion. If you look at the actual config file here, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that's hard to see, but over here we see this thing, target frozen open clip embedder, which is a reference to the fact that they're using this open clip text embedding model instead of the usual clip one they used to use for the version one models. Anyway, so this config is just saying, hey, web UI, do a version two. So, 
Now that we've downloaded those models, or rather I have downloaded them, you probably haven't because you're in the past like a loser, we go to the web UI folder, wherever that's installed. For me, it's in Documents, GitHub, Web UI. For you, it's somewhere different. And it's probably called something different. It's probably called Stable Diffusion Web UI. I call mine Web UI um, to make things a bit easier to understand what's going on and to make the paths a bit shorter. So I've copied both those files and I'm gonna go into Models. And I'm gonna go to Stable Diffusion and I'm going to Paste. And now we have these two sitting next to each other. And because they have exactly the same name, make sure yours have the same name, the web UI will know that they're associated. Okay, so where are we on this list of things that we want to do? Done that, done that, done that. Okay, now there's one more optional step, okay? And the optional step is to use Xformers. I have got a tutorial all on Xformers. You can go and, and visit it now. Uh, the reason that I think it's good to use Xformers in this case is because the images we'll be generating are a bit bigger and they're gonna take more memory. And if you're on a computer that has a small amount of memory, anything less than eight gigabytes, um, anything less than seven gigabytes, I'm sorry, seven gigabytes of RAM, you are gonna have trouble. Using Xformers, we can push that down a bit, make things a bit more efficient. And now we only need five gigabytes of RAM instead of seven. So that's why I think it's pretty important. The way that we install Xformers is you go to this launch, you edit it, I'm gonna open this with VS Code. Actually, no, I'm gonna open it with Notepad because that makes it easier. I'm gonna Control F, Command Line. Okay, here we go, Command Line args. This is what we're looking for. And then we're gonna say dash dash Xformers. And we're gonna save this file. Okay, now, if you haven't used Xformers before, this is gonna take a long time. And you really should watch that video on installing Xformers, otherwise, it might not even work at all and it'll be really frustrating and you'll you'll have a sad time. If this is the first time that you're using 2.0, probably don't try any of this Xformers stuff, just run it. Um, if your GPU is in fact big enough to handle 6.4 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so now we just did that optional step. Last step, we just wanna run the web UI script. I'm sure we're all very, very veterans at this. You just double click web, web UI.bat and now we wait. For me, this is gonna be sweet and short and wonderful and lovely. For you, it's gonna be long and painful and horrible and terrible because you're gonna to have to download this 3.4 gigabyte file and it's gonna be taking a long time and so suck it, basically. But I'm finished, so that's good for me. We're just gonna to go to our normal localhost and all we have to do now is make sure the correct checkpoint is selected, so. We'll select this checkpoint, 76VEMA CKPT. Uh, it is, yeah. And then the other important thing you have to do is you have to make the images a bit bigger because um, maybe this was something you noticed earlier. Stable Diffusion version one was trained on images of resolution 512 by 512. And if you tried to make smaller images, you would get nonsense. SD 2.0 was trained on images of size 768 by 768. So anything smaller than that and your results will be a bit weird. Okay, so now let's just test it out, make sure things are working smoothly. Okay, it's just a random prompt, just a random prompt. Doesn't really pertain to anything. We're just gonna use it to, to test this out. And there'll be a small gap here and then, great. Look at that. Look at that blue bar that we've all come to love and know so well. There we go. And look, that does, that does look a lot like you, actually. Now, I can't speak to how good 2.0 is. I haven't really tried it out and played around with it too much. But now we've gotten to the point where it's working on our computer. And I think that's, that's sort of the main thing. Looking back at this guide, the only thing they say that you can't do is training. So let's try an image to image, just for the fun of it, just to make sure that everything's still working fine. So I'll click this send to image to image button. It'll take us right there. It's great, and uh, I'll just make him wearing a hat, and we'll see how that works. Okay, and that's the, the pretty standard bad image to image quality that we are used to with Stable Diffusion. So it really looks like everything is working. Now, I am gonna go to, to sleep. <laughs> I hope that this was helpful to you.